Welcome to Path Valley Speedway as Fred Raymer Promotions presents another Sunday night of 410 Spring Car Racing. down the back straight away and he's looking good turns three and four white flag coming down now for Brian Monteith oh it's a 10.053 10.053 quicker yet at a 9.992 9.992 oh my goodness that's just 15 one hundredths off the track record 410 sprint car style at Path Valley Speedway. Here we go. We're racing at the little track with big action. Fred Marks to the center line has the early lead out by four car lengths. Here comes Brian Monteith. He'll move by Lucas Wolf for a second. And Brent Marks will lead the opening lap. Lucas Wolf side by side with Vaughn Teeth now. Here comes Ryan Smith inside of McIntyre to grab fourth. Navigating his way through lap traffic on the top side of Kyle Pruitt. Vaughn Teeth is second. Lucas Wolf third. Cole Duncan fourth. Ryan Smith fifth. Brent Marks up on the high line. He'll get by Tyler S. Oh, Mike Wagger spun right in front of Brent Marks. Off turn four, green flag back down. And Brent Marks back to turns one and two. And Brent Marks catching the tail end of the field one more time. He'll move to the top side of Troy Breaker to put Breaker another lap down. To put 14 in the books. Tyler S. right there in front of Brent Marks. Here comes Brian Monteith. Monteith the second, Wolf's third. Ryan Smith and Cole Duncan, your top five. Monteith. And Wolf now. Wolf up to the second spot. Lucas Wolf second, Brian Monteith third now. Oh, what a car upside down. And we're going to go to a red flag situation. One car upside down here in turn number three. now, Brent Marks shows the way over Lucas Wolf. It's going to be clear racetrack now in front of Brent Marks for several laps. Marks in turns three and four. Could ride right there. He does. Off turn four, checkered flag out. Brent Marks wins it in Pass Valley. Congratulations on a great run tonight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a pretty tough track tonight. Three and four was really tricky and it got so slow around the bottom there at the end, and uh, I find it kind of felt a little bit better up top, but, um, you know, I knew Lucas was behind me, and he's pretty good on the bottom here, and uh, I didn't want to give him a, uh, um, a chance to get by me, but um, I heard him there at the end. It got a little slow uh, behind those lap cars, and um, last corner, last lap here, I just kind of made a little wide off of force. So that way he didn't get a run on me, so, um, but, you know, uh, the car was excellent all night tonight. We went out late for time trials, and um, you know, the car was pretty good, but I just didn't have a good time. But, uh, you know, put us on the front row of the heat and got us in the dash. And um, these races are all about positioning yourself, uh, especially tonight, because uh, it's just really tricky out there. But, um, you know, I can't thank everybody enough for coming out uh, tonight. Uh, you know, this is an awesome race that Fred puts on. And, and um, I grew up racing here, started racing go-karts here, and, and uh, have a lot of laps here. And it feels great to uh, win at this track in every division I competed in. So, uh, you know, this is uh, really cool. And uh, thank you to uh, Buck Rubs and, and uh, Emory Transmission for, for uh, sponsoring tonight's race. And, um, you know, I'm just really proud of these guys and really excited to be standing here. Yeah, you just can't mess around with these guys, especially at such a small track like this. Um, you know, if you make one mistake, those guys behind you close up on you twice as fast as you would anywhere else. So uh, I just had to be patient with them and, 
and um, you know get get by him. And luckily, uh, some guys gave me the line down here through one and two. Um, you know, and made it easy for me. But three and four was a tricky part because you know guys were kind of all over down there and didn't really know where uh, where to go sometimes. But just kind of just 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 was uh, patient there and and uh, made sure um, you know nobody got into me and I didn't get into anybody because uh, I've lost some races this year because I've been a little bit too impatient and getting into a lap car and and uh, you know screwing my chances of w winning a race so um, we had a really good weekend this weekend uh, finished third there on Friday won last night won the night so um, I'm really proud of that and uh, you know really proud of my team for sticking behind me and giving me great race cars. Hey, I, and I do want to ask you something here Brent you know you were here for the Speed Weeks race you finished third right there behind Brian Clawson. I know that's got to be a special memory for you right here at Path Valley. Yeah, it is. You know, he's an awesome race car driver, and I didn't really get to race a whole lot with him. Um, this year it was the uh, year that I got to race with him quite a bit, and, um, you know, he's just a down-to-earth guy. He's a high-profile, uh, you know, person and a high-profile race car driver and has accomplished a lot in his life, but he's down-to-earth and took time to talk to anybody, you know, it don't matter who it was, and he's just a really, really great guy, and uh, we're going to really miss him, and um, I'm going to really miss racing against him. And, um, you know, I just uh, send, send our thoughts and prayers to his, his, his family. And, and um, you know, everybody should cherish what he's accomplished in his life because he's made an impact in the racing world, and, and um, you know, everybody should be grateful for that. We're going to head down here and talk to Gerard McIntyre, Jr. He picked up the hosthits.com underdog night here. $500 bonus. How about a nice round of applause to Gerard McIntyre Jr. Well, they want it to maybe to go to somebody else, but hey, we are going to award it to Gerard McIntyre Jr. Gerard, I tell you what, that was a good lap in qualifying. Set you up here for a nice night. Yeah, um, you know, all year we've been time trialing decent. I uh, haven't got any fast times, but you know, it's, it's tough. You know, I haven't made a lap here since, uh, 2001 I think in a go-kart um, so it's been a long time and, and to come right out of the box and, and uh, be second quick I mean that was great for us um, you know we started third there and, and ended up six went backwards a little bit but you know I mean, a lot of that was my fault you know, down here in three and four just wasn't driving as good as I should have been but uh, you know towards the end I got a little bit better and uh, hopefully next time Fred has one of these races we can uh, be a little bit better from a go-kart to a 410 sprint at Path Valley and uh, still getting the job done. Good to have you back here. All right, thank you. All right, and who would you like to thank here tonight? Oh, uh, we got to thank all my sponsors here uh, with uh, Weaver's Body Shop and Capital Senior Services and and uh, Moses and uh, you know, William, William McIntyre and Sons. And uh, most of all, I got to thank Fred Raymer for, for doing this and, uh, you know, host heads for, for putting up uh, an award like this. It's, it's great for guys like me, and uh, we appreciate everything we can get. All right, congratulations, Gerard. Thank you. Gerard McIntyre, Jr., your host head, your hosthits.com, $500 underdog award winner here tonight. Thanks to all the fans, and, uh, you know, hopefully we'll be back here in September and uh, put on a bigger and better show. And uh, everybody did great tonight. Get you out of here early so you can get home and get to work tomorrow. And appreciate your patience with us, and uh, especially you spending your hard-earned money to come here and watch these races. Thank you very much.